Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to free up some disk space on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. And this is rather easy to do. Now, the first thing you want to do is empty your recycling bin. So when you delete something on your computer, it's not yet deleted permanently from it. So if I go to my recycling bin and I open this up, I can still see the file on here and I can restore it at any point in time. Now, I believe the default is 30 days. After that, it'll automatically be permanently deleted. So it's not quite deleted yet. So there is an option to empty recycling bin right here. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this item? And we can go to yes. Otherwise, you can right click on the recycling bin and there should be an option right here. It's grayed out for me because there's nothing in it. Now let's go to the start menu and then go to settings. Then go to system on the left, go to the right, and let's go down to storage. Now we can see the breakdown of all the, you know, the files on our computer with the amount it's using on the right and the free space available on the top. We could just select into here and we can see what is using up the most amount of data. So you can manage your documents. We can go to view documents right here and I can see everything that's in here. Otherwise, you can go to like installed applications. That's a little bit more straightforward. We can see the largest applications and we can simply just delete them or uninstall them. But the easiest things to do uh, would be go to storage sense on the bottom. So we can see storage sense is turned on. Let's go to this and select it and make sure this is checkmarked to keep Windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files. Then I have this automatically on when I get low. And I would run this, you know, every month at least. So usually by default, this would only run uh, when you're low on uh, disk space. So you want to turn this on and then you want to run it right now too. It says, Delete files in my recycling bin if they have been there for over a certain amount of time. I would say you want to go ahead and put this to maybe 14 days. So if there's something just sitting in your downloads folder, well, it's going to be automatically deleted. Then we have delete files in my downloads folder if they haven't been open for more than 30 days. And this says delete files in my recycling bin if they have been there for over 14 days and 30 days of the default. So you want to go ahead and actually change this. The one on the bottom, it says for the downloads folder, this is actually never for the default. So you have something in your downloads folder, it's never going to be deleted. So this is an easy way to just clean everything up. So I'm going to move this to 14 days and then run storage sense. And you might be able to free up like maybe 10 gigabytes from your computer. And then we can go back out here. And then we can go to the cleanup recommendations right here. And mine says delete the downloads folder right here. I have like eight gigabytes in there, but there was other options for me too. And cleanup will also remove system files that are not in use. So I already did this. So none of those options are available for me, but I can click into here and it gives me more options like uh, temporary internet files. I don't think I need to do that right now, but I can just run this right now and remove some files. So I'll save. 1.2 gigabytes from doing this. Uh, window keeps a thumbnail of everything. Okay, so let's just remove this, go to continue, and it's purging. And then I should be good to go. And then I can back out. And then you can go to the larger on used files, and it's going to give you some recommendations like DaVinci Resolve's uh, video editor. I don't think I've really ever used that. I could delete that. Then uh, Here's a picture or something I've never used or it looks like a mini video. So there's some suggestions there. Uh, file sync to the cloud, unused apps. Okay, so more options right there. So just go through here and you should be able to find some things that can help you just free up some disk space. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did. Leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six studios.